all about the pantyhoots, baby. So, uh, quick information before we start the video, and it is that this is just kind of a test episode, so, uh, ignore it if it's not that great. We just kind of wanted to give you guys something, uh, on YouTube to see if you liked it or not, or the kind of style of videos that we will be doing. So, uh, yeah, just make sure you leave us a comment when it's all over telling us what you thought. Uh, and apologies if it's not the greatest, uh, like, video ever. We just kind of wanted to get something out there. So, please think of this as kind of a test or pilot episode. Hello guys, this is Danny from the Nintendo Tutorial Channel. And this is our very first episode, and it is going to be a Nintendo tutorial on how to clean your NES games on your NES system. So to get started, uh, I just wanted to show you the standard problems that you'll have to know if your game does need cleaned or the cartridge needs cleaned. Okay, so first you want to open the flap on your original Nintendo system, get the game that you selected to play, push it in the game cartridge slot, make sure it's in there real nice, tight, and snug. Push it down just like the directions say. And a lot of people, uh, if you're playing on an old Nintendo, have their own way of doing it. Maybe sliding it to the right, sliding it to the left, I don't know, whatever you want to do to the cartridge to make it work. But this guide will have those problems no more. Hopefully when you're done cleaning your games you will never have to do that again. Alright, but anyway, back on subject, you close the flap and press power to get the game playing like it should. Oh, but before you do this, make sure your TV's on and is set on channel 3 like mine is. Uh, channel 3 or 4 I should say. It's whatever you have uh, your Nintendo set to and you can change those options by the little switch on the back of the Nintendo. I won't take the time to show you that right now though. Alright so like I said just press the power button and it should appear on the screen. The game should but it's not for some reason. Why is that? Well apparently either your pin connector in your Nintendo is too old and it's just kinda busted and a pin connector is basically what makes the game work if any of you are wondering that or your game just really needs cleaned, which is usually my case. So uh, the flashing power button indicates that it does usually. You look on the TV screen and you see the blue flashing screen. And let me tell you, there's a lot of people that have seen that, but if you're watching this and you have, you're not the only one, trust me. Uh, tons of other people will face the same problem. So that is exactly what this guide will be showing you. Um, how to clean your NES cartridge cartridges so they'll play and you won't have to sit fiddling in front of your TV and Nintendo for a half hour or so just to play a great game. So, let's get started with the supplies and what you'll need to do this. Okay, you will need the following supplies. Some Windex, possibly some paper towels depending on if you are a uh, good aim with a Windex bottle. Uh, some rubbing alcohol, it's either Windex or rubbing alcohol, your choice, whichever you have at home or maybe you have both, just whichever you feel like using at the time. Some Q-tips and the NES game that you want to clean. Okay, first you're going to want to take the NES game that you have and get out your Q-tips and from your paper towels get out one sheet of uh, paper towel. Make sure your NES game's on top of the paper towel. I do that just to not get my surroundings too messy, but uh, you know, it's your choice if you're a slob. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, uh, take your Windex bottle. Uh, I'm going to use Windex instead of rubbing alcohol in this case, but at the end I will tell you how to use the rubbing alcohol. Uh, and you want to put your NES game upwards like so. Get your Windex bottle fairly close to the uh, where the cartridge, you can see like the chip inside is located, and just give it a nice spray. You might think, wait, wouldn't that hurt it since it's wet and damaging it? Actually, no, this helps, and I've done this to clean all my games. Give it maybe three or four squirts of a Windex. Uh, how much, however you think would do better. I, in this case, did, I think, four or five. Uh, now you can see you're going to have a little bit of Windex on the front of your cartridge, but that will not hurt anything. That's why you get a another paper towel from your paper towel roll and just off the front cover dab it off. Now you don't want to wait too long before the Windex all dries up in there, so we don't want to do that. We want to take some of our Q-tips out. Uh, I'd say get about three or four to start out with. Take the first one, 
hold the cartridge up like so and just stick it in the top end of it. Give it a nice couple swabs up and down. And you can see it is very dirty inside there. You, The Q-tip's almost totally black from what I see. So you're going to want to do this in, for a while. Do it on both sides of the cartridge. You can see there's a top layer up here and a bottom layer down there. Sorry if that's not the best camera angle. I'm, I'm trying to look at the camera and talk to you guys at the same time. Uh, so, yeah, just give it some swabs. Make sure you don't get that little... Uh, part in the edges where there's a little bitty gap there, you still want to get that too. Uh, and just keep doing that until you uh, your Q-tip becomes not even very moist anymore and you see almost no visible dirt. And I'll show you what it looks like for the finished product because it'll take too long to show you guys me cleaning this NES cartridge plus it would be very boring so I'll skip to the end in the final product. Alright well five Q-tips later and I'm done cleaning my NES cartridge and you can see it looks pretty dang good inside there's no dust visible dirt that you can see looks almost brand spanking new uh, and it <laughs> smells pretty dang good too but I don't recommend sniffing Windex no bad uh, but yeah You've got yourself a clean NES cartridge, and let's go back up to my room and see if the game actually works now. Okay, just a few things I forgot to mention. Uh, a few quick notes, I should say. Uh, this technique that I just taught you guys uh, works almost 90% of the time, for me anyway. So, uh, if you try cleaning your NES cartridge and it doesn't work, please don't leave a whole bunch of comments saying it didn't work, you liar, all that. Because it does work uh, from what I'm about to go up in my room and show you. Uh, so don't call me a liar or anything like that. Ask Daniel as my witness. This really does work. And uh, also, uh, I said I would show you guys, or I would tell you guys what to do if you wanted to use rubbing alcohol instead of the Windex. So what you want to do is get your rubbing alcohol, whatever kind you want. I just get the generic kind because it's cheapest. It really doesn't matter. You can actually use generic like store brand Windex too. Uh, but you know, uh, whatever you want to do. You want to get either a little spray bottle full of it. That's what I have up in my room, but not right now I don't. And you want to get your Q-tips, which are over here, and just dip a couple. I'll use one of the dirty ones here. Dip a couple in there. Bring it up. You'll see it's a little moist. You want to dab it on the edge and basically do the same thing that you did with your uh, Windex swab it up and down in the NES cartridge and it's basically the same technique just using a different source so just wanted to tell you guys that also uh, this technique does work with almost any other cartridge system uh, that I've tried uh, it works with Super Nintendo, Nintendo 64, Sega Genesis, other stuff like that I'm not exactly sure if it works with Atari that's the only other cartridge system I have I don't recommend trying it uh, unless like you have an old Atari game that you want to test it out on also it does not work on disc games like some of the newer consoles like GameCube uh, Nintendo Wii PlayStation nobody likes that right uh, and just other various things like that so um, yeah also it doesn't work with DS games either uh, don't try that it will probably screw up your game I have found it works with Game Boy games just using a small amount of Windex so just wanted to let you guys know that and now we're going up to my room so I can show you guys what the final product looks like on the screen and as you guys can see I put the cartridge in and it works just perfectly now uh, it's the exact same game I promise you that and same TV same Nintendo you see it's working perfect down there uh, and I wanted to cut this a little bit shorter so I can make a few little announcements. Uh, so, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and I'm sure they will, there will be more to come in the future. Uh, so, this is Danny from the Nintendo Tutorial Channel, and I'll see you guys later. Okay, the information that I just wanted to give you guys is, uh, we are taking requests for our videos for our next episode, uh, our first episode, since this is kind of a promo just wanted to see if you guys would enjoy it episode. Uh, but you can email us your request. Uh, our emails are located on the uh, channel description of the Nintendo Tutorial channel. And email me. Make sure it's Nintendo Tutorial 
at AOL.com and to email Daniel, make sure it's Nintendo Tutorial at gmail.com. So that's some information there. Oh, this is a story about a guy named Al, and he lived in a sewer with his hamster pal. But the sanitation workers really didn't approve, so he packed up his accordion and had to move to a city in Ohio where he lived in a tree. And he worked in a naval decongestant factory, and he played on the company bowling team. And every single night he had a strange recurring dream where he was wearing leader hosen and a bat of sour cream. But that's really not important to the story.